because if I didn't do something, I felt that I was not gonna be around. What inspires you about her? <laughs> Stop, I don't go out there. <laughs> <laughs> um, that she never gives up. She has no quit. Never. That's Even right. if she doesn't feel good, she's here. And she gives her percent. If she ever skips a day, she comes every single day, no matter what. Um, she realizes that it's one step at a time, and even though she can't, she couldn't do burpees at first, she does the prescribed, and then she could jump at first, but now she can jump rope. She's always positive, was says hi to everyone. Whenever I see her pushing through the workout, and I'm like, we're having a really hard time and dying to get through it, she is going a million miles an hour, and <laughs> I'm trying to keep up with her, so she definitely inspires me. She makes me cry sometimes. <laughs> I have wanted to, but God keeps me going. God keeps me going. So I feel better once I've come. It's not good, like going through it. Yeah. Because I'm like bad. I don't want to be here. Yeah. But after I start going through it, and all the people, oh, don't make me start crying. I wouldn't go to anywhere else and find what I find here. When it comes to this isn't a weight loss program, but when it comes to things like that, I, I do give up yeah. easily. And why I'm sticking to this? Because I'm tired of the yo-yo and being giving up. I want to stick to something. Yeah. I want to be 102 and still be here. <laughs> How does it make you feel as a coach? Uh, I mean, somebody like Marlene is like a dream client, right? Because she, she's coachable. She, she does what we tell her to do, even when she was, even when she doesn't want to. But I think Marlene. I think the reason I'm so excited, Marlene, about Marlene is because her story is everybody's story. It's a twofold story. It's the person who finally decides they've had enough and just keeps coming, right? No matter what. And it's that person who thinks that they can't do it. Because she was that. She was that person who didn't think she could do it, who didn't think she was good enough to be in the gym, who didn't think she was good enough to be a part of a place like this. And now she's in the middle of this journey that's an inspiration for those people who are frustrated. You can't just stop because you gotta see where it's gonna go. I get up every day and why be negative? I used to be because I never liked me. Yeah. And I think I'm starting to like me. That's awesome. And then it's okay to put time in myself. As a mother, as a wife, you never do that, usually. In a year, do you know how many pounds you've lost in a year? 34. 34 pounds in a year, good. Um, so we just did clean and jerks. And in a year, you pr by 40 pounds, which is a big deal. See, at least I didn't gain it. <laughs> You lost. I lifted it. Lost, yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> you, you lifted what you lost. Yeah. More than you lost. Yeah. Um, and uh, I still how many burpees? How many burpees did you end up doing? Twenty. During the war, Tw twenty burpees. Yeah. And what? what uh, do you remember what you told me was the thing that brought you here? Was the break point for you? Do you remember? You started a year ago. No, I don't. Remember. You You told me about. Um, you went to a Rockies game. Oh, because this? I couldn't sit in the seat. You couldn't sit in the seat. And I can now. <laughs> and you couldn't get back up the stairs. Huh? Do you remember that part? Yeah. You told me you're like I couldn't sit in the seat and I couldn't get back up the stairs. Yeah. So just I just want to put that in perspective of you for how far you've come. That's a big deal. And that's I love it because that's only it's only part of the journey. Yeah. Are you done picking on her? I'm done. Okay. <laughs>